What's going on guys? We're back with Put You On A Budget. Uh, today a little bit of a different video, something we haven't done for a long time. We're actually going to go pick up a new toy. So anyways, we're on our way to go get it. Uh, you'll have to wait and see what it is, but I'll give you a little hint. Vintage snowmobile. So that's what we're going to get. And not just one, two. So we're going to go do that. We're on our way right now. Uh, to deal with the guy that we bought them from. We already paid the guy, now we just have to go pick him up. So we're gonna go pick him up, and once we get to the farm, show you guys the sweet little beauties we bought today. So, just picked up the sleds. Uh, we had the old man come out with us, and he grabbed two of the sleds. Basically, we're set right now. I'm absolutely pumped. But gave a little sneak peek there, so you guys kind of saw a little bit. Uh, we're just driving back to the farm right now. We'll give you guys the full lowdown, but we got two semi, mostly complete sleds, and one part sled, and then a whole buttload of parts. Like we got a whole extra motor that's freed up, ready to run. We got three carburetors, skis, you name it. But we're pretty much set, so I think this might be might be the deal of the year for us. So. We're on our way back to the farm. We'll give you guys a full-blown tour of at least this sled. Uh, hope you guys like it. Just gave her a little unload. Went over to the ditch. Uh, I dropped the rear end of the truck in. <laughs> now it's a farm truck. Just bust up the plastic a little bit on the bumper. Dragon hitch, dragon mud flap. Oh well, whatever, it's just a beater. But yeah, now we're gonna Pull it on into the shop and show you guys what we picked up. Hey boys, here's what the anticipation's been all about. Just got this sweet, sweet Roloflex sled. Got the 440 and uh, we made it back with this one first and the old man's coming back with the other two. So we got this 440. We got a brand, or not brand new, but a drop-in ready 440 motor to go with it. Uh, and then we also got two 340s as well. So pretty wicked though, these machines, I don't know a lot about them. Um, so I'll have to get some get some learning in, learn all about what I can. But uh, from what I understand is that these had a Yamaha based drivetrain, or I guess motor in them. So parts should be a little bit easier to come by somewhat, I'm thinking. But yeah, we got three sleds. All we paid for everything was 500 bones. $500 is all we paid. But we're absolutely stoked. We got some vintage sleds. I think these are early 70s, roughly. I don't know exactly. I've never been a sled guy. So these are my first sleds. Quads and dirt bikes and stuff, for sure. But first sleds ever and went vintage. But yeah, everything's free. Motor's free and everything. Guy said you dribble a little gas down the carb and fire it up. He showed us. Fired right up. So I'm thinking, thinking a little carb clean. And yeah, we can maybe have these things just scooting along. We also got a brand new track. A new old stock track for the rear. We got a whole bunch of stuff, like, I think it'll be pretty good. The seat, seen better days, but at least it's together. The foam's all there, so it could use a recover. Uh, it's not severely bent anywhere. Nothing's busted completely. It's actually in pretty good shape. The only thing busted is the windshield, but I think that's pretty common on these. So, yeah, we got a couple of vintage Rolo Flex uh, sleds, which I'm absolutely stoked about, and hopefully we can do some more videos on these but I thought today would be would make a good video to show the little score we got so I am ex so stoked on them I think they're gonna be awesome so anyways thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick little uh, pickup video on some wicked vintage sleds and hopefully we can get some videos on getting these suckers running uh, yeah and once the other ones get here show those ones off too hopefully we can get for sure one going hopefully two to be better and then if uh it looks better this year with covid hopefully we could actually maybe make it to some vintage snowmobile races and stuff like that but right now the goal is get them running which hopefully i haven't ate my own words and hopefully it'll be a little easier than i thought it would be so anyways uh thanks for watching our quick little pickup video hope you guys have a great day